In this video, I'm going to show you how you can generate over 1500 unique pieces of content a month for your coaching agency or course creator business in less than an hour a day. Now, before I dive into my iPad here and show you exactly how that's possible, if you don't know who I am, my name is Ravi Abuvala. I'm the founder of Scaling with Systems, where we build end to end marketing systems for coaches, agencies, course creators, and online service providers. And just like the name of our company, Scaling with Systems, everything I try to do in both my personal and my business life is centered around around systems. How do I just put in the least amount of work and get the maximum amount of results as possible? That's also known as leverage. And I've been creating content for over four years now. I have over 70,000 subs on YouTube and we've generated over $25 million in sales. And uh, I'd probably say about 50%, maybe 50 to 60% of those sales have come from organic content, from YouTube, from Instagram, from TikTok, et cetera, et cetera. And what I used to do back in the day is probably what a lot of you guys are doing is I was just creating content randomly here or there. I was maybe repurposing stuff like occasionally here. I was repurposing stuff there. Uh, I was like bottleneck for the content. I had to create all the content. If I wasn't creating content, I wasn't getting created. I was doing all the quality control. I was doing all the posting. I was reading all the comments, et cetera, et cetera. And quite frankly, that's just not a great way to scale. And what is going on right now in this industry for those who are able to pick it up and for our clients who are building this out with is there are a few people who understand how to build media systems where you're really almost like a media company and you're taking just a few pieces of content a day, less than an hour a day of work, and turning it into thousands of pieces of content a month and making it yourself like omnipresent all across the different channels. So let me show you how exactly this works. So you should be seeing my iPad here. And in the middle, the center of this entire system is going to be the platform Twitter known as X as well. Now, I use Twitter mostly because I heard Alex Ramosi talk about the benefits around it, which was namely that you could post on Twitter multiple times a day and the algorithm doesn't hurt you. And it's almost like expected for you to put five, 10, maybe 15 posts on there every single day. And then the second reason I personally like Twitter is because I'm a writer. I love to write uh, all, uh, the majority of my videos are scripted on like a video like this. And I love writing our newsletter. I like writing video sales letters and I think I'm a pretty good copywriter. And so Twitter allows me to, instead of turning on a camera and kind of guessing and, and doing things, allows me to condense down in 140 characters or less or 180 characters, whatever one it is, it allows me to condense down what I'm trying to say. So it keeps it bite sized and it's really my strong suit. Now I will say you could easily erase out Twitter here and you could put Instagram, you could put, you know, LinkedIn, you could put YouTube shorts, anything else. But for me personally, it's going to be uh, Twitter for the reasons that I just told you. So that is the core uh, main piece of my media system. Now, when I post on Twitter, I post every single day about five posts and those five posts take me around an hour. Sometimes it's even less than that. I schedule that out on my calendar. And what I do first and foremost is what we call one-to-one -one posting, which is as soon as I post on Twitter, we use a software called uh, uh, Tweet Hunter and uh, Tiplio, which are kind of sister softwares, once for Twitter, once for LinkedIn, to automatically post whatever I post on Twitter, also on LinkedIn. But that's not all. You can really have it go on LinkedIn. You can also have it go on Instagram. You can also have it go on Facebook as well. And you can kind of put a graphic on there. So a graphic would just be like what you see in some of those uh, different those different platforms of essentially what like a tweet looks like, but kind of screenshotted and put it on that platform. So instantly you have uh, the, t the tweet, which was one, and then you have two, three, four uh, different uh, pieces of content that are posting across multiple platforms at the same time. But that's not all. You can also one-to-one -one post on threads, right? So that's Instagram's version of Twitter essentially. And so we're gonna go over here and type in threads as well. So now we're at one, two, three, four, five, I'm sorry, five pieces of content that we're doing as soon as we make one Twitter post. Some of this can be through automatic, through software, other ones you'll just need to hire somebody like a virtual assistant or somebody to do this posting for you, okay? So immediately we've taken just one unit of energy and we've multiplied it by five, but that's not enough, right? Because that's not gonna really grow your following or get you a lot of sales. The next step that we want to do is uh, we want to create a system around uh, talking head shorts. So shorts are, as everybody knows, very powerful on these platforms. All these platforms want to push video content and shorts specifically. But what I used to do is just randomly create shorts ideas. And I would just say, Oh, what's a good short idea. Let me think about something. This person said this, I saw this short over here and it was very haphazard. Instead, we created a system around it. So now if it has greater than five likes, on Twitter, and obviously that number can change. If you have a massive following on Twitter, you could make it greater than 100 likes or 300 likes, but 
quite frankly, I kind of restarted my Twitter account just about two months ago. And so for me, five likes is a lot on a tweet. Okay. I'm not ashamed to say that. So if I have five likes on a tweet, then we're going to go ahead and make a short out of it. And where can we make shorts? Well, we can make a short on LinkedIn. We can make a short on Instagram. We can make a short on Facebook. You can make a short on Snapchat. You can make a short on YouTube, right? So one, two, three, four, five, and you can make a short on TikTok. Okay. So we just took this piece of content and it performed well as on Twitter and maybe it performed well on LinkedIn or Instagram or Facebook as, as um, a little graphic, maybe it performed well on threads. And if it is greater than five likes, then we're just going to read off that piece of content on a video like this. So I could read the tweet and I could say something like, uh, if you're making less than hundred thousand dollars a month, you need to be running a, a single person business, right? Or something along those lines. I can make that into a short, short, it's less than 60 seconds long. I can make it into a video. So let's do the count. We have one for Twitter, the original post, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, uh, we're at 11 pieces of content so far, right? And those are the shorts that I just read off. But Here's another thing that a lot of people don't talk about is that you can take those six uh, shorts that you just took together and you can actually have two different people edit it, right? So now you have that same original piece of content, that same video that you created, but if two people edit it differently in different styles, it could have a chance of going viral, one version over the other. So now we've just taken the six shorts that we've created and we've just doubled it and made 12 out of them, okay? And a typical short cost about, depends on what you're paying, but could be anywhere from $30 to $100 on the very high end for a short, depending on the quality of the short. So if you just pay two people to do it, it could cost you anywhere from 60 to $200, but you're getting 12 different videos across the platforms of that. I mean, it's the same two types of videos, but you see what I'm saying here, right? So now we're starting to rack up the numbers and hopefully your brain's starting to move a little bit here, but we're not done yet. So if you haven't noticed yet, there's a new kind of form of content on the platforms today, and that's these animated shorts. So I'm going to put in here and I'm going to say animated shorts, animated short. And this animated short is essentially what it sounds like. It's like where you see those kind of black um, like screens and then there's all these people, things that are moving. Um, there's also could be, this also is known as, uh, you could also do B-roll shorts, right? Where it's like just words on a B-roll screen. Um, you could do a few different versions of this, but this is essentially when you're not having to talk to the camera anymore. They're just ripping the audio from this short over here and they're turning it into an animated or B-roll short. And what can you do? You can post it on LinkedIn. You can post it on Instagram. You can post it on Facebook. Oops, you can post it on Facebook. You can post it on Snapchat. You can post it on YouTube and you can post it on TikTok. And what can you do? You guess it, my friends. You can get two different editors to do that. You could do one's an animated version, one's a B-roll version, right? Uh, you could also have somebody do graphics instead of animation because animation, honestly, is it's pretty expensive and it's really difficult to do, but that's also why it's doing so well, right? If you if you want to be different, you got to, you know, do something different. So the, we a lot of our animated stuff goes kind of viral online. Well, relatively viral. And so immediately you have another 12 pieces of content that you're going to do right there. But we are not done yet, ladies and gentlemen, because on top of that, what you can also do, and this is really where our moneymaker is, you can take these pieces of content and you can create a YouTube video from it. And for us, it's greater than, um, oh, I didn't put it on here, but this is greater than uh, 15 likes. And this is greater than 30 likes. So it has to be greater than 15 likes for us to create this other repurpose uh, content from it. Because like I said, this is going to be more expensive. This might be anywhere from 50 to $300 a short. And then down here is going to be a YouTube video where you're doing greater than 30 likes. And that's going to be even more expensive. A good YouTube video could be 200 to $500 between the thumbnail, the editing, all that other stuff, right? So as you can kind of see how the system works here, it's like these ones over here um, cost almost nothing to do. So we're posting those one-to-one. -one. Anything we post on Twitter, we'd go over there because it really, it, there's no marginal cost of reproduction. It doesn't cost anything. The actual short talking head, well, that one actually takes a little bit of our time and we got to pay a little bit of money. So we want to put a small barrier there, about five likes to see if people actually like that. This one over here, now we're getting into the bigger dollars, right? This could be a few hundred dollars, um, like 100 to $200. And that's going to be the animated stuff, the B-roll stuff. And then finally, you have the big boy down here, which is going to be YouTube. And that's going to be even more expensive, 300 to $500, once again, depending on how you're setting up your YouTube, how you're paying your people, et cetera, et cetera. But those are that, that's that long form 
form content that can really convert the people from these short form channels over here into long form people. Because quite frankly, you're not going to get a lot of conversions from your short form content. The goal of short form content, and this is something I wish I learned so long ago, but the goal of short form content is not to drive sales. The goal of short form content is really to drive them to your long form content, at which point you'll convert them hopefully into leads, uh, calls, and sales. I'm going to get into a very important part at the end of this video here. So greater than 30 likes, we're going to create a YouTube video out of it. And the final piece of this is you can take any one of these, uh, like for example, YouTube, you're going to come back in and you're going to recircle uh, back to Twitter again. Because you know when you first created the tweet, all of those things that you created were based off of that one tweet. You might have added a line or two, but obviously you're not going to make a 60 second YouTube video. So you're going to take a topic, like let's say, for example, on this video here, I made a tweet where I said, uh, I'm changing my content strategy to have Twitter at the center of it. And that actually went decently viral and it went viral across my different platforms. And now I'm creating a YouTube video because it got so many likes, but then I've, I've talked about and scripted so much of this YouTube video that I could go back to Twitter from what I talked about here and I could say stuff like, Hey, did you know that um, you can create these uh, animated or B roll shorts uh, that a lot of people don't think about? Or I could say something like, Hey, did you know there's a software that allows you to post one to one of these platforms here, right? Or I could talk about the zero marginal cost of reproduction of media for some of these, all these different things I'm talking about. I you just feed that right back to Twitter again. So it's this ecosystem of content that I've been able to systemize down to about an hour of work a day, which has been incredible because let's do the final math here for you, ladies and gentlemen. So we have Twitter, which is one. Uh, we'll just do a little tally up here. Twitter is one. LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook. Those are all graphics. Threads, we're at five right there. Then we have, we're going to read off that tweet. Uh, so we're going to say uh, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, YouTube, TikTok, Shorts, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have another six because we're getting two different editors for it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have another 12 from the animated B-roll shorts that we're doing down here as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then we have a YouTube video from it as well. Boom. Right, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six times five is 30, okay? And then if you were to create five tweets, you could do 30 times five, which is 150 pieces of content a day. And if you multiply 150 times 30, you get about 4,500 pieces of content a month. Now, why is that, why you're not gonna hit 4,500 pieces of content every single month? Because not every one of these pieces of content are going to go and hit the five like uh, qualification here, or the 15 like qualification here or the 30 like qualification here. So I'm not planning on every single one of them to do it. And I'll actually be a very small percentage that make it all the way to a YouTube video. But hopefully you're getting the idea around like kind of the power of, uh, of the repurposing. Now, I am not done because just creating content for content's sake, a lot of my clients, when they first come to me, that's all they're doing. They're, they're getting, they're great at capturing attention. They're making a few sales here or there, but it's kind of a little convoluted. They don't have a real repeatable, scalable, scalable, simple sales process. And that's exactly what we do for our clients. We build sales processes for them um, using assets that they already have. So we're using this entire content. Let me just kind of get a different color here. So we're using this entire content machine right here in order to send traffic directly to, let me do that, in order to send traffic directly to an opt-in page, which goes to a video sales letter. I'm sorry guys, I can't type. Goes to a video sales letter, which goes to a, a call, which goes to a sale. For example, if you were to go to any of my YouTube videos, you can go below that and you'll be able to book a call to speak with our team where we'll be able to build out this system uh, for you, right? What, that's what we do. We build end-to-end -end marketing systems. So all of this different content, I'm just pr promoting it towards one main area. It's like all this top of funnel mess and it goes directed right towards one simplified selling system where I know that every person that's getting on this call, they've seen the same video and so it allows us to create a, a systemized way to scale. Now, how is this revolutionary from what most people do? It's the thing that most people do is they have like an opt-in page here, they have a calendar link here, they have a uh, lead magnet here, right? And so all these people are kind of coming in, they have a DM thing here, 
And so all these things are kind of coming in and it's like going to this call, but everybody's coming from a different location. They're consuming different content. They have different problems when they get on the call. And so you're creating all these different high ticket products, or whatever else it is on the back end, And it's getting very confusing and very difficult to scale. And that's why we personally really lean on a simplified selling system, like a video sales letter, not like a traditional one. We have a unique way we do it called the self-sustaining funnel, uh, which we build for our clients. But we like that because it just focuses all the attention on one simple thing and allows a salesperson to know exactly what this person knows and is thinking before they even get on the sales call. Now, the only other thing I can imagine that I'm going to get in the keyboard warrior comments below, other than like, oh, that's not really that many pieces of content because blah, blah, blah. The other thing that I'll get is like, okay, well, I'd rather just focus on one platform and go all in on one platform. And quite frankly, I think that's a great idea. I've been really growing my YouTube for the past few years and I don't have, uh, you know, hundreds of millions of views, but all of my views are very valuable because of the price point of what we do and who we serve. Um, But this is for the person that's already creating a decent bit of content. They have one core platform. They want to expand it. So even if you post it to LinkedIn and you don't have a lot of people on LinkedIn, even if you get one new client from LinkedIn a month, some of these costs and side of here, like $50 for a short or $200 for a YouTube video, you know, it totally makes sense if you're able to systemize it and make it cheaper than, um, than what you would do if you're kind of just throwing it together all ad hoc. So I hope you found this video valuable. If you did, let me know down below. I don't do a lot of screen shares of the, of my iPad because I worry that it's my handwriting's atrocious and people don't like it. But if you do like it, please go down below and let me know. And if you are interested, if you're a coach, consultant, course creator, agency owner, and you want us to help build out this kind of marketing system, system for your business. We've done it for over 1200 other coaches, agencies, course creators, and online service providers. I'd recommend going below this video, a booking a call to speak with myself or my team. We can walk through exactly how that process works.